Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation 3 to the power x cubed over 27 to the power x is equal to 9 3 to the power x cubed divided by we can write this 27 as 3 cubed whole to the power this power x is equal to 9 next 3 to the power x cubed divided by according to the property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n this power 3 will be multiplied by this power x 3 to the power 3 times x 3 x is equal to 9 now according to property of exponents a to the power m over a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n. We can write this 3 to the power x cubed over 3 to the power 3x as 3 to the power this power x cubed minus this power 3x is equal to and we can write this 9 as 3 squared. Now you can see that at the left side the base is 3 and at the right side the base is 3. So we can write this exponent x cubed minus 3x equal to this exponent 2. x cubed minus 3x is equal to this exponent 2. Now we move this 2 to the left side. x cubed minus 3x positive 2 becomes negative 2 at the left side is equal to 0. Now because this 2, this 2 is a factor of, this 2 is a factor of 4. So we split this negative 3x, we split this negative 3x as negative 4x plus 1x like this x cubed we split this negative 3x as negative 4x plus 1x then this minus 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 now from these two terms x cubed minus 4x we can factor out x x times in bracket left x squared minus 4 plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Next x times now this 4 this 4 is same as 2 squared. So according to this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. We can write this uh, x squared minus 4 as x plus 2 times x minus 2. And from these two terms plus x minus 2 we can factor out plus 1. Plus 1 times in bracket left x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now as you can see this factor x minus 2, x minus 2 is a common factor. So we factor out this x minus 2, x minus 2 as a common factor in bracket left this x times x plus 2 and this plus 1. In bracket left x times x plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 0. Next x minus 2 times we multiply this x by this x and by this 2. x times x x squared and x times plus 2 plus 2x and then this plus 1 plus 1 
is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression x minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. From here x is equal to 2. This is the first value of x. Now to find other two values uh, we solve this uh, quadratic equation. This is factorable. So we solve it by factorization. x squared we split this plus 2x as we split this 2x as x plus x plus x plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now from these two terms x squared plus x we can factor out x. x times in bracket left x plus 1. And from these two terms we can factor out plus 1. Plus 1 times in bracket left x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now as you can see this factor x plus 1 is a common factor. So we factor out this x plus 1. x plus 1 as a common factor and in bracket left this x and this plus 1. In bracket left x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression x plus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x plus 1 is equal to 0. From here x is equal to negative 1 and from here x is equal to negative 1. This is the second value of x and this is the third value of x. So we have got three solutions of x. x2 is equal to negative 1 and x3 is equal to negative 1 and x1 is equal to 2. Now let's verify these values of x by putting these values in the original equation. The original equation is 3 to the power x cubed divided by 27 to the power x is equal to 9. In this equation first we put the this value of x 2. In this equation first we put this value of x 2. 3 to the power the value of x is 2 to the power 3 divided by 27 the value of x is 2 is equal to 9. Next 3 to the power 2 cubed is equal to 8 divided by we can write this 27 as 3 to the power 3 whole to the power this power 2 is equal to 9. Next 3 to the power 8 divided by according to property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. This power 3 will be multiplied by this power 2. 3 to the power 3 times 2 6 is equal to 9. Now according to property of exponents a to the power m over a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n. We can write this 3 to the power 8 over 3 to the power 6 as 3 to the power 8 minus 6 is equal to 9 and 3 to the power 8 minus 6 2 is equal to 9. 3 squared is 9 is equal to 9. You can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So it is proved that the value of x 2 is correct. Now in this equation we put these values of x negative 1. 
3 to the power value of x negative 1 to the power 3 divided by 27 to the power value of x negative 1 is equal to 9. Next 3 to the power negative 1 cubed is negative 1 divided by we can write this 27 as 3 to the power 3 whole to the power this power negative 1 is equal to 9. Next 3 to the power negative 1 divided by now according to this property of exponents this power 3 will be multiplied by this power negative 1. 3 to the power 3 times negative 1 negative 3 is equal to 9. Now according to this property of exponents we can write this 3 to the power negative 1 over 3 to the power negative 3 as 3 to the power negative 1 minus this power negative 3 is equal to 9. Next 3 to the power negative 1 this minus and this minus becomes plus 3 is equal to 9 and 3 to the power negative 1 plus 3 2 is equal to 9 and 3 squared is 9 is equal to 9. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, it is proved that the values of x this negative 1 is correct and this negative 1 is correct.